When you were a child, you may have mixed colors together when painting, or your children may be doing that today. All video consists of three primary colors, red, green, and blue, and when mixed together can create other colors. So red, green, and blue are often referred to as the primary colors of light. Millions of color variations can be based on different combinations of these three colors. Most graphics editing programs allow you to specify combinations of red, green, and blue. So as an example, by simply changing the combinations of red, green, and blue, we are able to create different color combinations. And that's exactly what video is doing. Different combinations of those three primary colors results in different colors displayed on a computer monitor or on a television screen. It's important that you understand frames per second and how that affects a video quality. A frame is an individual picture, similar to a photograph or a frame of film. You can display these individual frames at different rates or speeds, and that's called the frame rate or scan rate of a video. Now the human eye and brain can see 12 frames per second. A low frame per second results in jerky or uneven movement in a video. For a smoother video, you need to increase the number of frames that you show per second. A minimum of 15 frames per second is required for natural movement. Now you may have seen CCTV systems that use a lower frames per second, and that's done to save on bandwidth as well as storage but the movement tends to be very jerky, especially when slowed down. In other words, if you watch a CCTV system in slow motion, you'll notice that the movement is very jerky. For higher quality video, you should increase the frames per second. So earlier movies used a frame rate or frames per second of 12 to 24 frames per second. 